All right, guys, bear with me. I have a little bit of a cold, but I had the results of the two light tests on uh, these pepper plants. This guy was underneath the LEDs, and it's kind of hard to see, but you can see there's a lot of new growth at the top. The lower end got a little bit scraggly just because uh, I left the lights on for like two days straight instead of cycling like I was should have been. Um, this guy was underneath the CFLs, uh, LEDs, CFLs. Um, and it has like a bunch of, uh, I guess, normal growth at the top. Plus there's two of them in there. Uh, this one's a lot darker green at the top. It's hard to see like it because it just won't focus on there. And they're starting to get buds in there. I think it's because of the, the solo cups. It's They're kind of um, uh, restricting in their growth. So in conclusion, I think what I would say is if you have a setup with maybe like fluorescent lights like this or possibly the CFLs, mix in some of the LEDs for uh, a little bit extra boost, a little bit extra growth. The LEDs are only in 6,500 Kelvin, which I think is what was kind of preventing the, both these guys from growing all the way. I needed to mix in some 5,500 and as well as some lower end spectrum. Um, this guy, a little bit stronger, uh, but I don't, I, I don't know, like the top of this just exploded with growth. Both of them initially by putting them in the light just kind of died off. I'm going to get these guys out of these containers and get them into bigger ones soon. Um, I did sprout some banana peppers using the LEDs and if I compare those, let me remove this top here without knocking anything over. If I compare those to these guys, let's put this guy right in here. So this back one was sprouted using just the LEDs. These ones were sprouted using fluorescence and that CFL right next to me. Um, and you can pretty much see, I don't know, I think the intensity of the LEDs is just not there. If I had them closer, if I had a, a, a better setup, it might make a, bit, a little bit of a difference. But, um... They're, they're usable. I would mix them in. I'd mix and match them. I wouldn't use one or the other. So that's what I'm going to do with the LEDs is I'm going to mix them in there. Um, I have a bunch of guys here that are getting started. It's still still too cold in New York to get a lot going. Once it gets closer to March, I'll probably get a lot more going. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these guys out, put them into bigger pots, kind of like, like that guy. Um, I moved him in. He was in my office. And I need to I need to clip the top of that, possibly get him into a bigger one. And I'm kind of I'm nursing this one back to health. It's still very cold up here where the, the grow tent is, so uh, the plants are not not surviving very well. They need to be a little bit warmer. I need to figure that out, which is why I gotta wait until it's closer to, to March or the end of March. But my conclusion on the LEDs versus CFLs, um, they're usable. You just need to either have them close, very close to the plants, like within, I would say, within like uh, three or four inches um, to get the full benefit. I don't think the intensity is there that the plants are craving, uh, but they're definitely usable. You could you could set them up for uh, just cheap, cheap lighting alternative for getting uh, seed sprouted. But uh, we'll mess around with it more once it gets a little bit warmer, maybe we'll have different results. I'll run the test again. So. Hopefully you stay with me. Um, I am going to be going through a tutorial in a future video on getting uh, upside down tomato plants going. I have an idea um, for getting the tomatoes going inside of a five gallon bucket and hanging upside down. So that'll be coming up in the future. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you, you do try the LEDs because they are cheap enough that you can, you can get them and you can mess around with them. And it's not like you wasted a lot of money on expensive lights to get no results. They did, they did provide some decent results. I'm going to see how moving them up here to the fluorescent CFLs makes a difference on this guy, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So thanks for tuning in guys. Stay tuned for the next video.